Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Iron Teeth in the Hard Mode. Now, in the some of the previous episodes, I think I noticed a very, very good comment actually. And that was to share some of the future plans or, or essentially the vision I have for this colony. And um, although I wanted to sort of take it slow and see how we go, I think uh, I think I'm ready to share a few ideas. I I mean one of them was already mentioned by me previously, which was to bring water across the map via uh, by building a, an aqueduct. Now that I'm not entirely sold on just yet because it just feels like a massive, massive construction project. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now other things. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, farms are most likely going to be at the lower levels, at least for the for the time being. And then the production, we've got it here as well, and the water storage. I, I think this area here is going to be like the central area of our build. And we also tested out the... Uh, let me bring back the UI, actually. Oh, they are paused. I was almost worried that they're not. And then the... Yeah, the water dumps did not seem to work out perfectly fine, but at the time of recording this video, the previous one where we tested them out uh, is not out just yet, so I haven't seen your comments and ideas how to make this better. And so, just so you know that. And um, But but yeah, maybe maybe it is something. So, power is, is going to be an issue during droughts. So, which leads us to... Yeah, we've got some water wheels, but they are not going to work during the droughts. So the last option, well, one of the last options we have is, is the engine, which does require quite a bit of metal, though. And that is something we don't have enough. The alternative power source could be the wheel, which is very beaver intensive. But I think overall, just seeing how many beavers did we did we have in this water dump system, uh, I think it was about 14, we said, roughly, plus... Well, let's, let's just check. We've got six dumps there... Two in the water towers, water pumps, I mean. And then another five here. So, yeah, that's that's 13, 13 beavers. And those 13 could be in their hamster wheels. Which would mean, well, what is it, 650 roughly? Yeah, 650. And that could already power a few buildings. So it just feels it's... it's Probably something we'll do. We'll go with the hamster wheels as a temporary solution until we can put the engines in place. And talking about the engines. So I was thinking of turning this playthrough more into a, into a theme actually. Like um, let me just hide the UI one more time and you know what, maybe we'll wait for the day. I'll be back when it's the daytime. Alright, so now that we can actually see what's going on on the screen especially the viewers that are, are on mobile devices and smaller screens. So, uh, uh, yeah, I've got you. So, right. So going back to the theme over here and looking at the terrain, uh, we've got some beautiful valleys over here and the surrounding areas are slightly raised. So it just feels like, like, yeah, what we just described before, that the farms could be on the outside and then this interesting hill or a mountaintop over here just feels it would, might be a really cool idea to turn this into a castle or maybe even a prison tower where we shall have um, the beavers that haven't have been a little bit naughty and misbehaving they could be uh, sent to the prisons to work on the on the engine to supply the rest of the colony uh, with power to make up for their bad bad decisions in in life um, and uh, since we are on Iron Teeth, their levees, they look much more nicer to use it in a castle-themed build, if it makes sense. Whereas the Folk Tales, it had more like a wooden look to it, which could be interesting as well. But I think if we were to go with a the castle theme, these iron-looking levees would be much more fitting. So essentially, yeah, the upper level here could be like the prison grounds, and we could surround it by levees and some guard towers as well so yeah just a bit of role play you know and then the lower level could be where and the, the rest of the administration is is located and 
And I'm thinking of leaving this um, set of ruins in here, not dismantle it entirely. And maybe build around this as well, like the castle wall could go through it or behind it and, and maybe use some metal platforms here as well where we could have some, some housing units or, or some other buildings on top of them. So that's what I'm thinking. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I might, might do it actually. Well, let me know what you guys think about it. But I do think well, I'm strongly leaning towards that option. Now, when it comes to the half the land on the south side, if we orientate the map again, more than half the land here is not fertile. And we're fully aware of that, of course. Now, I would like to start making some bread as well. To give them some extra bonuses and, and not really... I don't want to neglect it too much like we did in the Folktales run. So, we would want to make this land fertile by filling up this pond here. But also the river. So what I've queued up is a couple of levees already and, and the dynamite once... Well, one day if we start getting them. Uh, actually, whilst we're on on this topic, we've got a few unemployed beavers, so why don't we get a few more of them here, just to devour those ruins. So let's do that. I'll give them the highest priority as well, so they can get done straight away. And and yeah, so we want to put a couple levees here, just to raise the water level and not the not to flood our lower grounds and in this section I'm thinking to put a, either, either a double or a triple plant gate to control the flow and then we'll obviously have to dynamite the rest of the few tiles in here as well to allow the water to go through and in the future we can have even different sections in here with some more levy, levies and uh, essentially keep more water in store to keep this little uh, let me get a better, better angle at this to get this canal filled with uh, with water. So that is the plan, but there's quite a few steps that we have to put in place to, to be able to achieve this. So starting at the top, I'm also thinking to barricade this area and uh, most likely dynamite it one level down. So that way we could put triple floodgates in here instead. So that's the idea up there. The lower here I have queued up, although I've paused them. I've queued up a few more levies, but I just want to have this site done first for uh, for flooding uh, reasons, because that, that's happened quite a few times before. And then we get to finally this production here as well. So let's go through that. We do have a shredder that is currently operating because we should have more unemployed beavers now. Yes, we do have a few in there. We've got a, quite a lot of them, 77. I think we'll unpause another one here. Yeah, let's have a few more beavers uh, up there. So, yeah. Now that we're getting scrap metal, we are getting, making metal, which also is being delivered to this explosive factory. And once that is complete, we can make some dynamites to continue with everything that we just discussed before. Whew, that was That was quite a bit to go through. Now, rest of the reserves are pretty good. Um, there was quite a lot of comments about filling up this area with water as well. And um, yeah, that's a great idea. But I just don't feel like we need it that badly right now. I mean, the amount of logs that are in our storage right now is, uh, is, is quite a lot. And we've got plenty of maples just waiting there as well. So yeah, it's it's not a huge priority to be to be honest. And uh, looking at storage here, it doesn't look like we have a lot of um, let's see planks right now. What are you storing? You're not storing anything, are you? So why don't we open up? Uh, it's gonna be difficult to get the lower one. Yes, we did manage to uh, open it. So yeah, let's have these two for planks. Just wanna have more in store. I did notice from the corner of my eye that uh, they were actually already filled up as well. So I think they have been emptying them slowly now, but before it was completely filled. Right, so that's the um, gears as well. Gears, we've got three places where they are making them. And I'm thinking I'll let them start building this as well when they, when they have a bit of extra time. And um, 
in here. That is another area that I'd like to just build some more storage here. Which means we may need you guys actually to go over there. And yeah, maybe a few more industrial log piles or warehouses. I think industrial log piles will probably go there. That looks like a perfect spot for them. And more warehouses in the middle. So that way we could um, put down some more large water tanks. And I know the droughts are going to be longer. They're not the longest we've experienced so far. But they will get longer and then we do want to have more in the storage. But right now, I think we'll, we're able to manage with the water that we have. So, so yeah. Okay, how are those? Oh, those levees are already in place, which is very good indeed. Now, all we need is just to get this explosive factory ready. And that's going to take a little bit of time. So what I'll do is I'll let it run for a little bit. And we'll be back as soon as it's done. So the explosives factory is now finally built. We just need one of the beavers to to go and work in there. And let's see. Yes, Kina is now making us... Well, not really. We, we also need paper. And it seems that round, next round will be here in three days. So, so yeah, we're going to build a quick paper mill in here. Yeah, as well. Just need some gears. We've got nine in store, but I think we should be able to have enough. Maybe let's open another one. And you know what? Let's make more blanks as well. A little, little bit low on them. What I've also done is I've built an industrial log pile here. Just an extra one and a few more warehouses. So the bottom one is going to hold some scrap metal. Top ones, um, maybe more blanks, I guess. At least for now. And then we'll connect them up with uh, platforms as well. And also we have another small warehouse that is complete now. And for that, I just thought we'll have some more scrap metal that's a little bit closer to the shredder as well. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention before is... Um, when we talked about letting water through in from here... Another option until we wait for dynamite... Let me actually just pause the uh, simulation for, for a little bit, pause the time. We also have an option to go down this way. And to put in those levees in these locations. So that way when the water rises it could actually flood in or flow in into this canal or little, or little river system. So let's do that as well. I'll, I'm going to unpause these buildings here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a try. I don't think we'll have it ready before the trout. But then again, who knows. If we give this a high priority, we might just be able to complete them. We have had a bit of an influx of of beavers, so I think we're going to pause one of the bre breeding pods for, for now at least. And uh, yeah, we've got way more than we what we need right now, to be honest. Right, so let's see. How far are we with the... Well, we're pretty much done. Just need to finish the building of uh, of that and we don't have anyone spare so how about do, 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 let's see can we find someone let's slow you down wait was there anyone in there I forgot to check mm -hmm. uh, how about now okay they've just disappeared somewhere Oh, yes, we do. We do have someone in paper mill, and that is fantastic. We're just going to need some... Let's prioritize it, actually, as well. Uh, some logs and paper. Cool. Uh, I think right now we don't really have to worry about the storage too much. Which is pretty please. Oh, uh, you went for water. Gotcha. And that is something we'll do later on as well. We will have some water tanks closer to there where they are working. Just to save some time on the travel, and same with some routes too. Uh, sadly, it's night time, but let's just have a quick look. They've got a few, just need one more of the wooden stairs, and it seems they are bringing resources as we speak. Just two more planks, and then they can start building this. I think when it comes to reach, they should be, yeah, I'm pretty confident they can go all the way there. So we don't have to worry about uh, additional uh, district center. 
And here is a beaver that's gonna finish constructing that. Let's just check the road. Are you able to? Yes, you are. And let's have them done. To get up to the highest level, what I was thinking, I could also remove this path over here. Once they've built those levels, we can put a set of stairs, well, temporary stairs in here. And build it in sections. Yeah, and then we can have dams in place as well and not worry about flooding our whole con colony, which we are notorious for. Uh, right, so you have taken out all these trees, which is very lovely of you. How many dynamites do we already have? We've got three. Okay. Has anyone thought about placing it down at least? Can't get all the required materials. Why not? Let's check what is happening here. You should be able to. Well, for some reason... We can't see that there is indeed one. Do we have another district center? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, and let's check on the dam here as well. Um, well, one day left, so I'm not really having too high hopes on this. Did you just fall asleep on the water? I think... Yeah. Nah, he's just... What are you doing? Can't even... Ah... Yep. He is asleep. That's a really cool animation, actually. It's just floating there. That's awesome. Love it. And uh, I'm also aware that they don't have enough homes. And trust me, we will definitely get some homes for, for them as well. I just want to see how this is going. Okay, I think we can do the staircase now. The rest, are you on high priority? Yes, you are now. I think I'll do the same with all of them. No, these are slightly lower. If we can have even a little bit of water in there, that will be pretty cool as well. Although it's not going to help us too much. And then I'll just have to... Okay, we do have an explosive now in here. I guess we just have to build it. And we can also put a few more. I suppose... Something like this could work. And I've just realized those trees are in our way, so we're gonna need a few beavers to take care of uh, take care of that as well. Let's have a quick look again. How far are you guys? Okay, just two more levies. You're finishing that one. Is anyone coming to build? Hopefully one of you. Oh, okay, so he's just moved over. And now I think you could be a higher priority. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of water. In here, stairs are in place as well, which is fantastic. So now this means... Let's get these built. And yeah, it's not going to be done right now, but... Um, then again, we've got so much water in here, which we can control and... Maybe lower it down at some point. Okay. So, um... Yeah, another night. A few dynamites already coming in, so... That's good. Um, another thing we have to think about a little bit is how to get this water in here. Now, do we want to have, have this road come in from the... Through the inside? Maybe through here is fine. Yeah, we could do that. And then we'll have some... What are they called? Platforms. I uh, just have to remove... Wait, what happened? No, wrong one. Okay, so don't plant new maples in here, please. That would be appreciated. And let's see. The only reason why this is still paused... I wasn't sure which way the entrance should be, but I think that... Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, did we choose... You know what? Instead of blanks, why don't we store metal blocks in here? Uh, since right now, I don't think we have ready storage or dedicated storage for that and to connect them up i think we can keep it pretty simple and have something like so and then we'll do the same for the top as well they could go from top here we'll cover it up have some more 
uh, what are they called again? I almost forget. Large water tanks. And I was also thinking maybe an alternative staircase system for the beavers to get up so they don't have to go all the way around one or the other way. But though this might be actually shorter. As anyone know, no one's really cared about all this in here. That's okay. Ooh, the trout is for 18 and a half days now. Ooh, they are definitely getting longer. I think the longest should be... Uh, was it not something like 30 days? And then just finishing them off there as well. Cool, so that is... Perfect, we've got three beavers that have nothing to do. And yeah, now power is going to be an issue, so... We shall... Go with the hamster... Wheel design. Good to a few... Not too worried about the design, if I'm honest. We can have a couple here. But that means, yeah, we'll just have to do a bit of a redesign. And now, if we have them... <laughs> we still have to bring the power up, unless they connect directly. Yeah, so we could do... Oh, that is not the right one. We could have one of them here. And then outside. Let's have a look. We could do... Three... Bring the power through one. Uh, but then it's not going to go in there. Okay, well, we'll figure something out in here... Oh, do you know what? Maybe, maybe even just having them down here. Let's let's keep it simple. What about something like that? I already forget forgot which way the entrances are. And yeah, okay. So this means these power units sit in the middle. That's going to give us two hundred beaver power. Instead, maybe we'll bring it in from the back. Maybe this will be better. So let's get rid of all those plants. And uh, that includes the two of you. And the hamster wheels. Alright, so that's... Uh, I think that should keep us powered up. I'm just gonna build the intersections first. And probably one of the power wheels to, well, first see if it's going to work at all. I mean, it should be. But, um, yeah, let's just do those sections first. And you know what? We don't really want you anymore. Uh, we'll need you. That's fine. Okay, cool. So we'll let the beavers carry on with all, all that construction over there. Let's just have a quick look at our dam as well. They are... Yeah, actually almost there, so that's not bad at all. I'm not saying this is going to be the final design, but at least for the time being... Yeah. <laughs> Let's close you up just a little bit. And we shouldn't have any problems. No, that is looking fine. We've got a few dynamites already in place as well, but we just need to get rid of those trees. That one should be easy in here. So that means we can put a dynamite as well. And I was thinking... Not sure how we, if we want to do it two levels deep in here or just one. But maybe just to save the dynamite right now, we'll, we'll go one level down. Let me just speed up the time. And what is everyone up to? Oh, you guys don't have anything to cut down. Do not worry, we'll fix that. And actually, how about these lower ones as well? We'll give them a set of stairs. They can use to get down maybe from here once they... Oh, no, we cannot. So it has to be somewhere where there's no tree. That is no problem. And yeah, so you guys can, you know, carry on with, with this, really. And let's take a look. Maybe we'll detonate you first. Uh, I should have just done... Ah, uh, oh well. So for the time being, let's see... Landscaping, double or triple. I think triple would, would have been my preferred method. 
to drop it down one more. Because I don't want to bring it up just yet. Uh, yeah, I suppose double is fine. We can always change it up later. I don't think they'll be able to reach it just yet. Uh, later we can put a staircase in here and let them go go up as well. Or oh, once they get down, then they can go through here. Unless it's too far, of course. But we'll find it out in a little bit. Is anyone... Where are all our builders? Are you guys even building this? Towns look like they're running here. Okay. Is it connected? Oh yeah, there's no roads, but that is okay because we need the, need them to build all the power infrastructure first. So we'll leave them to to that. Does anyone come down here? Or no, they're not because there's so many other things they need to build right now, which is okay. So yeah, so that's that's pretty much the plans. Everyone's thirsty, hungry. Yeah, because food is they have to get up there. But yeah, that's that's the plans really. And um, we'll have to finish off the power section here. So in the next next episode, that shall be ready. And uh, what I'll do as well off camera is I'll just tidy up some corners. So that way we can start putting in some more farms in here. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll see what your feedback is on the on the ideas for that section or the mountain here as well. And we might turn it into a little little castle themed build. But anyways, thank you very much for joining and um, I do hope to see you again in the next time.